Welcome to the world of Walmart, a place where you can find everything you need and more. From groceries to electronics, fashion to home decor, Walmart has it all. With thousands of stores worldwide and an easy-to-use online platform, shopping has never been easier. With a focus on affordability, quality, and convenience, Walmart is a name you can trust for all your shopping needs. So why wait? Come and explore the world of Walmart today. Sit back, relax, and let's start from the beginning. The largest retailer in the world, founded in 1962 by Sam Walton, Walmart began as a small discount store in rural Arkansas. But through a combination of efficient logistics, aggressive expansion, and a relentless focus on cost cutting, Walmart rapidly grew to become the largest retailer in the world. In the 1970s and 1980s, Walmart continued to expand across the United States, opening new stores and introducing new concepts like the Super Center, which combined a traditional Walmart store with a supermarket. By the 1990s, Walmart had become the largest company in the world by revenue and had also expanded internationally, opening stores in Mexico and Canada. In the 2000s, Walmart faced increasing criticism over its labor practices and impact on small businesses. In response, the company made changes to its policies, including raising its minimum wage and introducing new sustainability initiatives. In recent years, Walmart has continued to evolve and adapt to changing consumer trends. The company has made significant investments in e-commerce and online grocery delivery, and has also begun to experiment with new store formats like smaller, urban-centric location. Today, with over 11,000 stores in 27 countries, Walmart remains a retail giant and a major player in the global economy. Its impact on retail industry and society as a whole continues to be a topic of much debate and discussion. Now, let's explore the intricacies of its business model and understand how it generates revenue, the largest retailer in the world. Walmart's success can be attributed to several key elements of its business model. First, Walmart has always been focused on providing low prices to its customers. The company achieves this through a combination of efficient logistics and supply chain management, as well as a relentless focus on cost cutting. By keeping costs low, Walmart is able to offer its customers the lowest prices possible. Second, Walmart has a vast network of stores, with over 11,000 locations in 27 countries. This extensive store network allows Walmart to reach a wide range of customers and be present in almost every market. This enables them to be more accessible to customers and offers customers a wide range of products and services. Third, Walmart has embraced technology to improve its operations and customer experience. The company was an early adopter of barcode scanning and has invested heavily in logistics and supply chain management. This allows Walmart to quickly and cheaply get goods from manufacturers to their stores and provide customers with the products they want, when they want it. Fourth, Walmart has a diversified revenue stream. In addition to retail, the company operates in other areas such as grocery, pharmacy, and digital media. This diversification helps to mitigate risk and provides a stable revenue stream even if one area of the business is not performing well. Finally, Walmart's business model is based on a low profit margin, high volume approach. This means they make small profit on each item, but by selling large volumes of products, they generate significant revenue and profits. Walmart's target users can be broadly divided into two groups, consumers and small businesses. Consumers. Walmart's primary target users are everyday consumers who are looking for low prices on a wide range of products. The company targets a broad demographic including families, budget-conscious shoppers, and low-income individuals. Walmart's extensive store network, combined with its online presence, makes it accessible to a wide range of customers. Small businesses Walmart also targets small businesses as its customers. The company offers a wide range of products and services, such as office supplies, technology products, and bulk merchandise at low prices. This makes it an attractive option for small businesses that are looking to reduce costs and increase efficiency. In addition, Walmart also targets urban and rural areas. They have a wide range of stores, including super centers, neighborhood markets, and smaller stores specifically designed for urban areas. Now, let's explore the vast network of companies and affiliated entities that make up the Walmart empire and learn what makes them tick. Number 1. Sam's Club 
Sam's Club is a membership-based warehouse chain that offers bulk products and services at discounted prices. Sam's Club targets small businesses and consumers who are looking for low prices on a wide range of products. Number 2. Walmart U.S. The largest division of Walmart and operates a chain of discount department stores and grocery stores in the United States. Number 3. Walmart International, which operates retail stores in 27 countries outside of the United States. This includes markets such as Canada, Mexico, Brazil, and China, among others. Number 4. Walmart e-commerce operates the company's online retail businesses, Walmart.com. Number 5. Jet.com Jet.com was acquired by Walmart in 2016. It's an online retailer that offers a wide range of products at competitive prices, and it is focused on urban, millennial customers. Number 6. Flipkart, an Indian e-commerce giant company that was acquired by Walmart in 2018. Number 7. Aster UK-based grocery retailer that Walmart acquired in 1999. Number 8. Walmart Health which offers primary care, dental, counseling, and diagnostic services, and operates as a standalone subsidiary. So these are some of the major affiliated entities of Walmart. And Walmart also has a financial services arm, which offers a range of financial products and services, such as credit cards, money transfers, and financial advice. Walmart is one of the most valuable and successful companies in the world, and is often compared to other giants such as Amazon, Costco, Target, and many more. Each of these companies has its own unique strengths and areas of focus. Let's compare Walmart with other competitor giant companies. Number 1. Amazon Like Walmart, Amazon is a retail giant that has a vast selection of products and a strong online presence. However, Amazon's focus is primarily on e-commerce, while Walmart operates both physical stores and an e-commerce platform. Amazon also has a strong emphasis on technology and innovation, such as its use of automation and drones for delivery. Number 2. Costco Costco is a membership-based warehouse chain that offers bulk products and services at discounted prices. Costco's target market is similar to that of Sam's Club, which is a subsidiary of Walmart. Number 3. Target Target is a general merchandise retailer that offers a wide range of products, from clothing and household goods to groceries and electronics. Target is known for its focus on design and style, and has a reputation for offering high-quality products at slightly higher prices than Walmart. Walmart also competes with many other retailers such as Kroger, Aldi, and Lidl, which are major grocery retailers and are expanding rapidly and also with online retailers such as Alibaba and JD.com. But Walmart's impact goes beyond just its business success. The company has been both praised and criticized for its effect on the economy and society. Critics argue that Walmart's low prices come at the cost of workers' rights and small businesses, while supporters argue that the company has increased access to goods and helped to lower the cost of living for many Americans. As Walmart continues to expand its global reach and embrace new technologies like e-commerce and automation, one thing is clear. The company will continue to play a significant role in shaping the future of retail. Thanks for tuning into my channel. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a comment with your thoughts and don't forget to hit the like button. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Until next time. Take care and have a great day.